Now at five, body camera video released in a deadly officer involved shooting in Tallahassee. I'm Evie Van Villen. And I'm Channing Frampton. That shooting happened almost a week ago. The video released is from cameras worn when an officer shot and killed a man he said pointed a gun at him last week. This is connected to a traffic stop that ended in a hostage situation here at the Valencia apartment complex. TPD says the man who was killed and another woman held two people hostage inside an apartment. Now we're getting a look at what happened Thursday night from the perspective of body cameras worn by officers. Now, some things you need to know about this body camera video. We are showing it to give you a view of what happened during that deadly shooting. We also want to warn you that some of this video is graphic. There are multiple views from different officers body cameras. The voices have been altered. Faces of people have also been blocked out all to protect the identities of the people involved. ABC 27th Chantal Navarro is going to walk us through what we're seeing in this video tonight. She joins us live at TPD. Yeah, that video released from the Tallahassee Police Department is about 18 minutes long and it starts with that initial traffic stop on Ocala Road where a car was stopped in the entranceway of the shopping center. Oh, they was, they was telling us our gas tank. Oh, I thought you were trying to fight me down or something. Nah, they was blowing at us and telling us our gas tank. Yeah, I just hopped out and shut it, but they just pulled us and told us that our gas tank, but we just left the gas station. I got you. 54. Really? I think that right there. Is this a rental car? I'm sorry. TPD says the officer noticed a marijuana cigarette. After the driver indicated he did not have a medical marijuana card, the officer asked the driver for his license. He then asked the driver to step out of the car and he calls for backup. Then the two take a walk to the officer's patrol car. Now during this time, TPD says the other driver in the car moved to the front seat. In the video, you hear the backup officer telling him not to drive off. Then you see the officer go down after being hit in the car, take off down the road. Well, Chantel, we know officers then found that car at the Valencia apartment complex off Tennessee Street. That's where the deadly shooting eventually happened. So walk us through what happened next. Now that's when police say one of the victims approached them, saying she was a hostage. Police then approached the apartment. Call for people to clear out and eventually they exit the home. Now in the video, police also mention a person in the upstairs of the home in the window. So officers go around back. Now what you're about to see happen next is what happens when that officer and the suspect meet around back. Now officers say that suspect pointed a gun at them after jumping from the second floor window. But we do have to warn you, what you're about to see is graphic, but we feel like we need to show you so you get a clearer picture of what happened that night. Your traffic, they're giving commands. Just everybody hold the shot. Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Do not move! Roll! Now in that, in that video, you hear the suspect being shot at three times. There are then commands for them to get on their stomach and put their hands up. Police then call for EMS. And as we know, that suspect did die, and TPD says the officer shot at him, fearing for his life. Live in Tallahassee, Chantel Navarro, ABC 27.